Welcome to the Turtle Screencast. My name is Michael Hasenblas and I'm going to show you what Turtle is and what you can do with it. Okay, there we go. So Turtle is an RDF Turtle editor and visualization tool. It allows you to render uh, the RDF uh, input uh, that you see here uh, visually. You can go there to turtle.net and try it out yourself. Let's visualize the example here uh, very simple one um, with uh, a resource there and uh, a literal. You can see you're in the status uh, when you click on one of these things. And you can switch uh, to a more explicit labeling of the nodes uh, in your right upper corner. And this is the basic functionality the turtle offers. Now let's have a look at um, the stats up here tells you how many triples and entities and types are uh, in the input you've provided. And um, so you can uh, always get a rough idea of, of what your graph consists. I've prepared some examples here in case you don't want to enter your own stuff, uh, mini social network. Um, you can load that and visualize it and uh, again switch labels if you want to know about the URIs or the literals values there. Now um, you can also change stuff there and hit visualize again and you should see uh, the, the picked up the changes there. Next um, we're going to have a look at um, what happens if we change for example uh, a type there. You should see in the stats that something has changed and uh, can also play around with the RDF turtle input a bit. Okay, so let's assume we have made some changes uh, there. So you want to make sure that you can you know, save that, uh, the changes you did, and just hit the save button and provide a label there, uh, something meaningful you can remember, and it's uh, stored locally on your browser and the rest of the session. It's uh, using web storage, and you can, uh, at any point in time, up to 10 of these uh, entries, you can saved there and uh, whenever you want get them back by just clicking on them and yeah if you get, want to get rid of that you just say delete and off it goes okay now you can also restrict uh, the input um, what is rendered so let's take an example the authorship uh, so some person claiming being the author of, of uh, an article and um, you might only be interested, uh, for example, in the person. Uh, let's play around a bit with the graph. Uh, for example, if we remove the connection between the person and uh, the article, we should see that uh, in the visualization. Uh, yeah, looks like. And uh, now let's restrict uh, the input, the turtle input, a bit uh, using a Sparkle construct query, essentially uh, focusing only on the person there, uh, so essentially saying, okay, that URI hash uh, m and uh, all the properties and objects uh, that belong uh, to that resource identified through uh, example org hash m. And if you now hit visualize, the Spark construct query is applied, and you will only see um, uh, the literals and uh, resources that belong to that um, yeah, selection there, to that restriction. Um, the outcome of the construct query. Remember, uh, you will only see it when in the restrict uh, Sparkle construct query is visible. So if you uh, minimize that, uh, you won't see that anymore because uh, it uh, renders the entire input. Okay, so what's next up? Now, you can play around with the visualization uh, and of course you might want to reuse that stuff somewhere in the documentation then you hit export SVG and just copy paste that into a document and you can use it standalone uh, for any kind of documentation you want to produce based on your endeavors here. Okay that was about it thanks a lot for watching and have fun turtling! <laughs>